Their minds are made up. They're not listening. They're just letting people go through uh, the, the, the ropes so they can say they had a chance to talk. There was hardly any discussion. The uh, one speaker who supposedly was in favor of Common Core talked about the absolute extortion methods of the federal government, saying if you don't accept this dollar for this program, we'll change all, we'll stop f funding all the other programs. The promo piece that the Department of Education put on. They just put the promo piece on Common Core and then called the meeting to an end. They are not listening to the American people. And I have been a public school teacher in Sweetwater County School District number two for the past four years. I was stifled as a teacher speaking out against Common Core and was told I could no longer um, talk against it and only do that outside of the school district. And I was very disappointed to be at this meeting to see that they had two teachers speaking in um, in pro for Common Core and not allowing teachers such as myself to give their side of the story. I happen to be a licensed professional engineer. I have a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, master's in civil engineering. So obviously I know a little bit about math. The other day I was given a section from the math on a Common Core to look at. It is insanity. It's going to turn the children off from math. Well, as a student who went through the No Child Left Behind um, schools were very disheartening to go through. You know, here's a test, next week we're going to do another test on the next set of standards. So if Common Core is anywhere close to what No Child Left Behind is, I'm very concerned about the future creativity of our students. They're an unelected body and obviously they don't care about what we think. And I was really surprised to see that people actually think this is not a political issue. As soon as you tie money to it, it's politics. Right on. <laughs> We've gone too far. Uh, this must be halted right now and it's a shame that the chairman, uh, a former legislator, uh, did not allow public input. I was very disappointed in this meeting that we didn't have a chance to speak, we didn't have a chance to answer questions. It is just frustrating and it's frightening that we are having this common core shoved down our throats but we're yet we're not allowed to know what's in it. I just don't believe that a program that is supposed to be so effective or accurate or informative has to be so coercive at its input, its application. That makes no sense. They're, they're trying to get Freudian concepts into kids that haven't even been taught what two and two equals four. All I can say is that Voyager spacecraft is out there and Common Core didn't put it there, we did that I said it's discouraging and she said oh and I said it's discouraging not that I'm discouraged <laughs> so we can't give up